Hey guys, Clint here from Cairns Dive Adventures. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to choose a great barrier reef dive and snorkel cruise from Cairns, and hopefully we can do it in less than three minutes. All right, let's go. If you stick around to the end of the video and hit subscribe, we've got a surprise for you. Something that'll help you on your Great Barrier Reef tour. Okay, see you soon. All right, let's stick around. If you don't swim, or you do very little swimming, maybe you've got one person that swims, one that doesn't, maybe you've got young children, uh, or even elderly people, you need to choose a pontoon, a Great Barrier Reef pontoon. Uh, there's three pontoons from Cairns, there's one pontoon from Port Douglas. I'm gonna list them all below in the description. Have a quick look. I'll give a, a, brief, a brief bio of what each one does. But they're all good. They all offer fantastic value for money when you look at all the inclusions, what's included. But the most important thing is they have semi-submarines, glass bottom boats, underwater observatories, lots of things that show you the reef and the coral, but you don't have to swim. So that's one of the things that, uh, that why we would recommend that, especially for children or elderly people that don't swim. Um, you can still swim. There's a lot of options for swimming and snorkeling on pontoons as well. A lot of great <laughs> snorkeling actually. Um, next is um, certified divers. So if you guys are certified, you got your dive license, or you want to try introductory diving, first time diving, as long as you're medically fit with no asthma, not taking any prescription medication, absolutely you could try a first time dive. For those that are certified, choose one of the day dive boats. There's about six awesome boats off Cairns and there's another three or four off Port Douglas. Uh, I'll put some links to them in the description below um, and explain what where each one goes. They all offer fantastic value for money. They just have different permits and go to different parts of the reef. Yes, one more thing I forgot for the dive and snorkel boats. For those of you that are certified divers, there's some beautiful diving from Cairns that can be done from a day boat. Uh, leave at 8.30 in the morning, back at 4.30, visit up to three different sites. Um, all dives are guided. Um, this is awesome, especially for those if you haven't dived that much. Um, they provide full gear, BCDs, regs, dive computer, wetsuits. Um, really, really nice. Leave at 8.30 in the morning, back at 4.30. There's also boats out there that you can bring all your own dive gear. and. I, and do unguided diving so you and your dive buddy can buddy up and explore the reef all by yourself without an instructor. Uh, that's also awesome if you've got experience. Um, for the snorkelers, if you're keen on being in water and you love your snorkeling, the dive and snorkel boats are also the way to go. They move around up to two different sites, up to three different sites in a day. Uh, and this is really cool because you're not staying in the one spot all day. So uh, these things are good if you are comfortable swimming, you're snorkeling, you're certified diving, or even if you want to try the first time in introductory dive. Hopefully that little tip gives you a bit more info about the dive and snorkel boats. Whew, okay, next. Um, the last option is go to one of the islands. So if you want a beach day, a relaxed day, go to Green Island, Fitzroy Island, Low Isles or Franklin Island. Any of those islands will give you a nice beachy day. Relax, have a sunbake, go for a swim. Um, Green Island, Fitzroy Island all have resorts, bars, little cafes and restaurants. Franklin Islands doesn't have anything on it and same with Low Isles. Everything's brought to the island and brought back at the end of the day. Um, just be prepared, you're not gonna see that much coral and reef around the islands. There are patchy bits of coral, um, lots of seagrass. You do tend to find sea turtles hanging around the islands. That is a, a real plus, a real bonus. Um, but for that great bit barrier reef experience, seeing those beautiful bright big colors, you need to get on a day boat, either one of the dive and snorkel boats, or if you're a non-swimmer, you don't swim so well, choose a pontoon, okay? Because they'll remember with the pontoons, you can do the semi-submarine, the glass bottom boat, the underwater observatory. The day boats, they don't have any of that. It's all about diving and snorkeling in the water and going to multiple locations in a day. That's one of the highlights of actually going on one of the day boats. All right, hopefully those tips have been helpful. Leave some comments below and I'll try to answer your questions. Um, okay, that sounds great. See you soon. Yeah, if you made it to this uh, far into the video, guys, I did say I'd have a surprise for you, and that's it there. That's what we call our underwater camera hire. So if you book your Great Barrier Reef tour with us, we'll send you out to the Great Barrier Reef with one of these. These are an Olympus TG5 underwater camera. 
they are absolutely awesome. You do need to spend more than $550, and if you do, um, then you're eligible for one of our underwater camera hires. You just gotta come into our shop the day before departure. You gotta supply your own SD card, the standard size SD, not the micro, and we'll send you out with one of our underwater camera hires for the day. You can use it all day. They shoot beautiful photos, 4K video, and you just drop it off back at our shop at the end of the day. Check out the description in the link below to find out more. All right, well, hopefully this video has been <laughs> entertaining, sometimes hard talking to camera, thinking about what I've got to tell you, but um, hopefully there's some interesting points in there. Um, please let me know if you have any further questions. All right, talk soon. Bye.